Now let's look at something called a topo drawing. We're going to not think about any of this stuff in the middle, but we're going to think about these elevations at the corners and of drawing what are called topo lines. Those are lines where the elevation is exactly the same throughout this drawing. And I'm not going to go with 120. I'm going to start that at 0, 6, 5, 5, and 4. So I'm going to subtract 120 from each one of these just so that my drawing is a little easier. So let's see how we might do that. I'm going to duplicate this. And you're going to see that I can do this now or later. And I'm going to duplicate it without details. Okay, so there we go. It's without details. And I'm going to go to Massing and Sites. And I'm going to make something called a topo surface now. And I'm going to place some points. So my first elevation is 0. My second elevation is 6. And I'll type the foot marker. And then I've got a five foot here and here. And I've got a four foot here. There. That's how quick it makes a topo surface. That is really cool. If I want to see that in 3D, I can. And you'll see that it's 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 not flat. It really is that surface. Okay, now some things look okay and some don't. Okay, the first thing is these lines are a little too dark. So I'm going to go to that override graphics. And I think I take those projection lines and now I do, I make them lighter. That looks pretty good. So I just made them lighter. And now these lines are showing up well. And the next thing that people usually do is they put elevations on all those corners. So I'm going to put an elevation right there. Oops. In this case, I'm going to double click, click a few times so that it goes right on the corner without narrow. And I'm going to have to hide that thing because that is at zero, zero. Oop, wrong O. See if I can catch that thing. There we go. Now I should be able to get my elevation right there. Sometimes it's hard to get right on it. There we go. There. That's kind of neato. I've got all those. And then another thing people often do is they put contour labels on. I just clicked that cut. Now I'm going to hold down my left button. Put it all the way right there. Isn't that cool? So that tells you what the topography is. And this, oh, they're showing up here. I, I want those to barely, really not be able to be seen at all. So I can hide those in this view. So in this view, they're hidden. In this view, they're not. Now, if I want to get these elevations in this view sometimes that's wanted so let me go back I can again make these things really really light but oh, wrong override graphics projection lines I can make them 
essentially almost white. There. Now I don't see them. And then if I want to, I can put the spot elevations in here too. That's commonly done. So if you feel like doing one that's pretty close to standard, really follows standards a little bit better. There we go, I got one and I was able to leave my zero, zero point in. Now this one looks just a touch better. And this one would be topo surface. So I'm going to rename it. There you go. Now you know the basics of civil surfaces and site plans in Revit.